Hi, this is Steve Delasant. Welcome to this week's edition of CEOs You Should Know. I am joined by Liz Josephberg, the CEO and founder of Target 100. Liz, thanks for having us. I'm so glad to be here. Thanks we're, for having me. We're excited to have you too. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey, a little bit about yourself, and what you got you first involved really in the wellness industry? Yeah, you know, I I struggled, you know, with my own wellness, my weight from the time that I was very young in my teens. And it plagued me my whole life. I was up and down 30 pounds about five different times. It graduated to 50 pounds, then 65 pounds. Wow. So weight was and, and health were always on my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I was a professional actress for many, many years. And it was brutal to be having weight issues as you were as a Broadway actress, um, auditioning and things like that. So, you know, as I pulled out of being an actress, I, of course, gained a lot of weight because now no one was looking at me. And I was finally sort of like, hey, I don't care. You know, it was one of those. And uh, then decided that I needed to do something about it. Ended up at Weight Watchers to lose weight and had never gone there. And was like, this is kind of amazing. I'm sitting in this room with people like me Mm -hmm. who are all trying to achieve something. And I got to hear other people's stories and feel like I wasn't so alone. So that kicked off this crazy journey. I then got a a job at the lowest level of the company. I was one of the women who weighed you in when you walked in the room. And uh, I loved it. And then graduated from there, just honestly just kept moving forward and became uh, up into their executive level, started helping them on the science team, writing all of their innovative programs. Uh, I became their celebrity weight loss expert. Wow. So it, it became my job to help people like Jennifer Hudson and Jessica Simpson, Charles Barkley, Katie Couric, Al Roker, all lose weight. Um, so I started flying around the world, helping them in sort of this black ops level of Weight Watchers and creating this sort of whole um, level and you know, just really loved it, stayed there for 11 years, had an amazing journey there, and then decided, you know, I've become sort of a Weight Watchers expert. I was their national spokesperson. I was a co-host of Dr. Oz for a season. I mean, I was everywhere. And I said, I kind of want to go back to school and not be a Weight Watchers expert, but a weight loss industry expert. Mm -hmm. So went back, started studying, and started working, honestly, around the world in weight loss technology and Um, you know, just loved every minute of learning all about different things, went back, became a personal trainer on top of it all, you know, did a nutrition exercise specialty, and um, then wrote a book called Target 100, which was sort of my take on the industry and what I wished people knew, Um, what the sort of the, the real truths behind what lasting weight loss looks like, because I think there's just a lack of true information. And now I've been maintaining a 65-pound weight loss personally for all of these years, wrote the book, then turned it into a company and a digital platform uh, that is now uh, helping people change their lives uh, across the world. So. That's awesome. What a remarkable journey. And it, 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 I think it speaks volumes to have like that firsthand experience, right? Because it makes it so much more authentic than just hearing from someone that never struggled with weight loss on their own. I think it's everything. I, honestly, as a leader, as a CEO, as a founder, if you cannot, if you can't be the consumer, if you are not in their shoes, it's hard to design a product that's going to resonate. Totally. So tell us a little bit more about Target 100. What was that pivotal moment that made you take that leap from Weight Watchers to be able to go back to school, to be able to come become that personal trainer and ultimately found Target 100? Yeah. So, you know, I think it's it goes back to this idea of um, – I wanted to find a way to to translate what lasting weight loss looked like. I saw a lot of people coming in, losing weight, and like myself, Mm -hmm. regaining it multiple times. And I thought, like, I am a really smart human. I had, like, a full Broadway career before this. I have a master's degree in opera. I speak several languages. Like, why is this thing? Mm -hmm. Why is this weight thing this thing that I cannot figure out? And I heard so many other people express that exact same thing. Absolutely, yeah. So that became sort of like my, my, my mission in life was, like, to answer that question for people and help them navigate through understanding what lasting weight loss looks like. And that is just not about food. If it was about food, we'd all be okay, right? Because, like, there's not a person I've ever met that doesn't know, like, pick an apple over a a, a candy bar, right? That's not the problem. The problem is this gap of between the actions and the intentions. And that's where Target 100 lives is trying to help educate you that, of course, we talk about food in the weight loss 
arena mm-hmm. at Target 100. But we then talk about hydration and movement patterns, stress, sleep, uh, and exercise, of course. But we really talk about the, the cognitive behavioral brain science around how to make different choices when you are living in an environment that is trying to trigger you at all times to make the wrong choices. Absolutely. So many temptations, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's really, you know, we call it an education. We call our classes courses because we do want you to walk away knowing that, number one, you're not broken. If, if you're listening to this right now and you, like me, have regained, uh, you know, weight in the past and you feel like maybe something's wrong with you, nothing's wrong with you. Absolutely everything is right with you. You are doing exactly what your DNA is set up to do, but there are amazing ways to understand how to kind of navigate around sure. the drivers. If yeah, you absolutely. I know that you mentioned a few of these, but obviously there's a lot of different options when people are starting their weight loss journey and their fitness journey, right? What separates Target 100 from those other options? Yeah, I think that I, I it's, it's so much more about the cognitive, behavioral, mental, and emotional mm-hmm. skills. What I've seen is that, you know, a lot of these programs are really based in and even – having worked at Weight Watchers, right, there's a point system and we're looking at what foods are good or bad. And what I have seen that do to people cognitively is set up this sort of idea of perfectionism or all or nothing thinking or this idea that, you know, I I used to weigh people in, right, hundreds uh, here in New York City, hundreds of people a day, you know, almost every day of the week. So thousands of people a week stepping on a scale in front of me and talking to me about, you know, and they'd say like, you know, Liz, I, I had such a great week. I, 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 I only ate like 30 of my points. I had extra going and I went to a party. I had 30 to go and I ate 32. And I felt like such a failure that for the rest of the weekend, I ate my face off. And I was like, I did that too. That's what I used to do. So relatable. It's so relatable to me. And I was like, why is that happening? That's what Target 100 is about is the why and the cognitive and behavioral skills and the community of like-minded people. So I definitely believe in community, and we are an unbelievably supportive educational community that has zero shame or guilt and helps you to navigate around. So that person that, that, that took in those extra points, if you will, and then, you know, like us all went crazy, you know, went all or nothing, we now know there's brain science behind that, mm-hmm. right? So we know when you look at a, a person's brain under an MRI and they feel guilt or shame over anything that they've done, the reward system kicks in. Mm-hmm. And so you start doing more of what it was that you wanted not to do. So I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. You know, if you've ever watched a gambler yeah, gambling and they're losing and they they're pushing. They more and more push, and more. Right? They're, that reward system's been highlighted. And then you add on top of it the addictive nature of the food supply that we have now, sugars and processed foods and alcohol and all the things. So helping someone understand what's happening cognitively, mentally, emotionally, and physically is where we live so that you can go like, oh, I understand it's what happened yesterday. How do I navigate into a place of like getting some of the blood sugar, blood out of my sugar, <laughs> the blood out of my the sugar out of my bloodstream. <laughs> there we go. Um, so that I can normalize and not have so many cravings. And so giving them those skills versus just having them try to return whole hog the next day to perfection, yep. which never works. It's understanding the why you're feeling that way, yeah. right? Yeah. I know you touched on this a little bit in community, and I would imagine anyone's journey community plays an extremely important part of it. Tell us how community is really a, a part of your company. Yeah, I mean, it, it's the heart and soul of what we do. If, if we had an IP, that would be it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, um, it is our IP. The way that we bring people together, actually, we cohort them into courses. So if you join a course, a Target 100 Foundation course, you meet a group of folks who are going through exactly and learning exactly what you're learning at the same time, which I think was, That's for awesome. me, a pivotal mm-hmm. uh, decision when I was creating the app and the platform was that people, you know, even in other programs, you're kind of put in with all these people at different levels, which creates sort of this feeling of I'm not good enough. I don't I don't know what they know. You know, um, I'm a just a beginner. I wanted people to begin together and go through this journey. Once they're done with their 10-week 
foundational course, they move into this community of people who all have this sort of verbiage and language and understanding of, you know, we have so many sayings, you know, like we, we always ask people to try to really move away from perfection, right, because it's so unhelpful. And I always tell people, don't get an A, get a B. Mm-hmm. So you'll see people in the community saying, like, oh, did you, did, you did it. You got a B. Great. Because when you get a B, you can keep going, right? Absolutely. The A, it's unsustainable for yep. most of us. So I love that. We have a language. We have, uh, you know, a, a, a temperament of kindness and the dropping of guilt and shame and the acceptance and the embracing of one another in all of the, the challenges that occur here. So I think it's a really special place uh, and it creates special bonds. Mm -hmm. Um, People, I mean, research all day long, I mean, will say that a community or support in the weight loss arena is literally the game changer. So that is the heart and soul. Yeah, I would imagine it's such an amazing support system um, for every single member to be able to have. So in your current role as CEO, what what do you find are like what some of the most important factors in the growth and success of the company that you face? Yeah, I think it's been a challenging, challenging moment in weight loss, right, with everything that's going on in the industry itself. And so it's been an interesting journey as a CEO. What I've learned, I think, a little bit of of being the consumer, I think, is very, very important. Um, And then, you know, what I've learned as a a newer CEO and, and the founder of a company is, and I mean, I've had to learn this sort of over time, is that you really want to be involved in every single aspect of your company. You need to know everything from the accounting piece to uh, to the marketing to the technology and, and really um, not just oversee it, but get involved on the ground level. So that's been, as a leader, I think um, one of my great advisors who has been a pivotal um, person in my own growth as a CEO said, right, you want to be able to take over any one of your divisions if something were to happen. Mm -hmm. So I think that knowledge on the ground level of what's going on in each one of your areas is is super important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Knowing every single piece of the business. Yes, truly. Um, Whereas I came in as sort of a visionary, one of those, you know, more that visionary face of the business. They always call me the Martha Stewart of weight loss, right? Like, <laughs> and so I think that's sort of where I came in. And then over these last couple of years, developing and developing through, you know, some fundraising and then fundraising falling off a cliff in 2022, right? Like, wow. and sort of navigating through how to be able to be a light and a beacon in your own organization, even when things are really difficult and leading with kindness is my number one my number one mantra in life is trying to find the way i think it helps and it speaks volumes of what you invested in yourself right going back to school getting that education getting the foundation and all these different aspects of the industry allows you to be able to be an expert in every single one in the ceo role yeah that's awesome so with the rise of social media and like digital influencers as well how do you navigate the influx of different like health and fitness trends that people are exposed to on a daily basis? Yeah, I got to say, I think this is a real danger. Absolutely. It's, it's really a problem. And, and I, see, I, I see when people come to Target 100 that they feel so much relief. I mean, we are, we are not talking about crazy stuff. We're talking about really foundational, moving your body, hydrating mm-hmm. your body. Like this is not rocket science. Yep. But what I think I see happening for people is the – the influence, right, and the ability to scroll and see, like, one person telling you to do this, one person telling you that, saying, I'm an expert, I'm an expert, this, 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 that people come to me with something called diet confusion. Mm -hmm. They're so overwhelmed with the inputs that they have, they do nothing. Yep. And so we teach them how to, to, first of all, shed that confusion, go back to very basic things that give really strong results, not just results in weight loss, but how you feel, your energy levels, your sleep patterns, your, so so I think that that it's it's been very very difficult to kind of um, we want to we want to again stay like a beacon mm-hmm. of somewhere where you can go to get really straight answers about how to change your behavior mm-hmm. how to think differently about weight loss in a very difficult environment I would say our top teaching is about environment so I'm I'm always ca- cautioning people you know just 
just turn, you know, make sure that everything that you're seeing in your social media feed is positive and makes you feel good. Um, don't believe everything you read. Yeah. And, you know, research the people uh, deeply if you're going to start kind of going down that road. Yeah, absolutely. You see so many fads on yes. there and you see so many unattainable goals that you said, right? Like they yes. think that these are like the short term solutions, but. With, yeah. with you, it's really like thinking of that, how you could sustain that long term, right? Yeah. And be able to set realistic goals and have a bunch of people supporting you rather than just scrolling through social. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So looking ahead, what are some exciting developments we could expect from Target 100 in the future? Yeah, so we are growing very, very quickly. Um, it's been a really exciting year for us, kind of turning that corner into profitability and, you know, moving. Congrats. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Uh, and um, you're going to see just tons of new courses. Uh, we have uh, events that are, are lined up and we are, you know, as I say, just growing um, our community. And cr it's been a really creative and amazing time to kind of help people, you know, navigate into a community that really is supportive. So um, we start people out in our foundation courses, and now we've developed Next Level and Mastery. We have a subscription product that's available as well. Um, and we are developing some incredible digital tools. Um, when you join Target 100, you get a box in the mail because I believe in data. I've been behind developing many of the best technology tools in the business. Um, and, you know, put together a box that comes in the mail as you join this course. And it gives you a tracker and a, a scale that butter, measures body composition. And it gives you a water That's bottle great. that measures your hydration. I saw that. That was it's very cool. Very cool. And they all work together for the first time um, so that you develop a program for that is yours. Mm -hmm. Right. Every other program in the world says, hey, Liz, you're five, four and you're 150 pounds and you so you get this many calories or this many you know, points or this many red, yellow or green foods. We're trying to move away from that and say, you know what? You are an individual. You may be, you know, if you're a person who just had a baby and you're not sleeping well, we help you in that area. Because weight loss is not just about food. Absolutely. It's about so many other things. So the data that we're pulling for you from these devices is really spectacular. It works together on our, wheel, our proprietary wheel platform. Um, we've developed even just helping people to be able to kind of create awareness, a tracking tool where you can actually track what you eat by texting it to yourself. So there's a, we call it Franny the Food Bot. So we have lots of, you Love know, that. exciting um, technology uh, creations. Just be, again, being the consumer or thinking like, how can I make this easier for yeah. you if you do want to track? So. Yeah, for, from a outside in looking in, I thought yeah. one of the things that made you guys really unique was your use of technology. Yeah. So it's awesome to hear like the thought process behind it and how all the different technology works together. Yeah, I love technology. I, I just love data because data is something that can help you make that next step mm -hmm. forward. You can look at, oh, wow, okay. And what we know about lasting, what I know about lasting weight loss and what we know now is that this is something that you need to understand constantly is changing. Again, all the programs out there are static, right? You have X number of points or X number of calories, and it's, it's just this number that you're supposed to achieve. Whereas things change in the yeah. spring. Like right now, my movement patterns are very different as it gets warmer and the days are longer. Yep. And but, but in the depths of winter, I don't want to drink water. I don't want to go walk. And so those pieces of my wheel really suffer. But by seeing that data, then I'm able to say, wow, look at what can I do there to maybe I will go, you know, do a walk at home video in my basement mm -hmm. just to get my body moving because I know that makes me feel better and is healthier for me. But if you don't have that data, you might be like, why am I not losing weight? I don't understand. Yeah, I love how it allows you to be so customized to the individual it rather is. than just like a one size fits all. Yeah, we're all so different. I mm -hmm. can't even imagine now. It feels like something from the dark ages that we would have looked at each person, you know, as, as you know, I have two kids and I'm in the city and out of the city and I have a full-time job and a CEO. Like, you know, we're, I'm, I'm, I have my own plan. I have yep. to think about design. That's what Target How 100 is. It your is. lifestyle. It's the infrastructure. Target 100 is gives you the infrastructure to write your own plan. And once you write your own plan, you own it, you're empowered. It doesn't mean you do it all the time, right? Uh, you know, like, yep. but when you want to return to it, it's yours. And it's much easier to do than trying to jump to some unrealistic, unattainable sort of list of foods or, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. 
Absolutely. Well, I'm sold. I'm excited to find out more about Target 100. For all our listeners that are tuning in, what's the first step for them to find out more information? Come on over and read about us at Target100.net. And that's Target100.net. You'll read all about my journey. You'll read all about the programs that we have. Uh, We have courses that are kicking off in March. Uh, March 12th, uh, we'll have a foundation course kicking off. I will be leading that course personally. Awesome. Uh, So, you know, you'll get to kind of interact with me and my uh, coaches and the community. So come on over and find out. Uh, We run courses all the time and uh, hope to see you all there in one of them. That's awesome. Well, Liz, thank you so much for joining us today and sitting sitting down with us. It was it was very remarkable to hear about your journey from start to finish to seeing where you are here. I'm very very much looking forward to seeing where Target 100 goes. And thank you again for being part of the show today. Thank you. This is a joy. Awesome. Tune in next time for the next episode of CEOs You Should Know.